Okay, so I just was laying in bed in my van, chilling out, you know, and I looked over towards the front and I realized all my water bottles had bees, a shit ton of bees just hovering around them. And yes, that's exactly what it looks like. It's a bucket on fire. Well, I don't want it to be on fire. I kept, I made sure it's just smoldering. Uh, I'm, I have no other choice. I don't have any bug spray or anything. I am smoking them bitches out. Yeah, as you can see, it's working. The, they were pissed at first that I did that. I picked it up with the shovel and a crowbar to get it to sit in there. I did it out here and waited for it to just be smoldering. It's just a little bit of brush. But yeah, I know it sucks because your gonna, van's going to smell that way or my van's going to smell that way for a little bit after, but shit, you should have seen how many bees were in here. God, it was horrible. I couldn't even get this close to my van a minute ago. I'm checking now to make sure it's actually working. And I'm lucky all my fans are doing their job kind of blowing it all out this way so hopefully the back doesn't get too smelly but I think it will it'll all smell that's okay air freshener I've got some air freshener uh, whatever I did with it oh there it lays oh I stepped on it too but yeah god so yeah that's a quick There we go. You get to see my danger in redneckery firsthand. You got to keep a close eye on it. You don't want it to burst into flames like it just did. Uh, I can't pick this up one handed and put it back in. We'll wait and see. Smother, smother. Keep it, I'm going to keep that shovel smothering it for a little bit. But anyways, I want to see where the bees all went. They're normally not far from my van. That tree right there, just at the thicket of that tree is where they hang out. For some reason, they decided to come say hi. And I don't know why. I want a little more smoke. Get some flame going so I can put it out again. Come on, burst. Burst into flames. Right next to my van full of gasoline. I'm a professional redneck. Don't try this at home. Actually, I definitely recommend this as a uh, emergency way to get rid of bees. Smoke them out. Any sort of smoke. Preferably something green like that. Or not, that's not green, but like something eco-friendly if you're smoking them out because the smoke's going to soak into shit. So I'd rather it not be like oily smoke or whatever, you know. At least this is a more tolerable smell. There we go. Now we got some smoke going. Looks like it's about to burst into flames again. Yep. Maybe not. But it probably will. Yeah, I don't think I need to put it back inside anyways. I think they're gone. I'm going to keep the smoke going in there though for now and around. Just to make sure they stay gone. I actually had to do this when I first pulled in. Not in my van. I first pulled in, they were just like hovering around my uh, passenger side back tire. Or driver side back tire, not passenger. And so I found uh, just a piece of cloth stuck in a bush. And I lit it on fire near the tire, make sure, making sure it wasn't too close to the tire. And uh, I kept, you know, doing the same thing, putting it out, and, you know, letting it flame up, putting it out, making smoke. Smoked them out. And they haven't bothered me since. That's been a while ago. So, maybe they learned their lesson. This time, I don't know. I'm going to just keep the smoke rolling for a little while. Make sure they stay gone. 
kitty cat don't like it. She didn't mind the bees. They didn't bother. I mean, these bees don't really bother you. They'll get close to you and up in your face, but they won't fuck with you. They're just kind of there, you know. I don't even know what they are. I don't pay attention to bees. I'm not a whale biologist. But, uh... But I don't want them in my van because, you know, even though they're not bothering me, they might be landing somewhere and I accidentally put my foot on them or whatever and they hurt me, that is. I'm not too worried about hurting them. They hurt me worse than I hurt them, even though, you know, I could crush them. But, yeah. Hey, look at that. That's a, Oh, there was a plastic bottle in the bottom of that. I forgot. Although I'm not sure it's gotten down to that yet. That was completely packed with that uh, brush there. Mm. I like this little shovel. It's just from Ace, but like it's better than those foldable ones. It's a lot sturdier. Oh, yeah. That's right. Smoke them all you got. And I got a bucket full of stuff to smoke. Yep, yep, yep. Some of y'all are probably like, what the fuck? That's going to smell and stain the carpet. What carpet? I mean, my, my bedding can wash that and spray it down. My clothes, again, can wash them and spray them down. There's not hardly any cloth in there built into the van anymore. Or any fabric. It's just all plastic and metal. The wood? I mean... I don't really care. Like I said, I can spray it all down. I'm used to using, I used to have a wood stove in here. Smoke smell isn't going to bother me one bit if it's wood smoke and that stuff's no different than wood smoke. Alright, well, that's it. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think about my redneckery.